Just kick it. Just kick it. Yeah, the tail light, yeah. Just kick right here. Just Let me see. It does not To uh, donor a car or whatever Jay's gonna do with it. I mean, it looks like an eBay flip. I mean, diffuser. It's 3.8. Well, it's not entirely too bad. But uh, that's a little gnarly right there. Definitely gonna need a new radiator, uh, condenser. Ready to support. Check the motor oil. There's oil in there. It's kind of clean actually. <laughs> kind of smells in here. What the hell? What are these people doing here? Anybody want a spoon? Alright, let's see if the battery's any good. Oh, it starts. 20,000 miles, not bad. I mean, low on gas. Shocking. <laughs> Some people just... Oh, it's just dirty. Well, Aaron just dropped it off and uh, we just unloaded the car. And here is a 3.8 GDI, 2015, only got 20,000 miles on it. I was just searching around Copart and found this car. The damage is actually a little more than what I thought it would be, but that's with the online auction. It's a front frame damage. I don't know how, it, was, it looked actually worse. I was just more uh, excited to just rip this apart. I'm actually giving out all the motor transmission and putting them into O'Brien's car. I don't know how salvageable the rest of things are. Right now, uh, what's worth to me is engine transmission and some interior and suspension parts. I couldn't even get to that bolt, so I was just jumping on it. Just, you motherfucker. And there we go. I can get to it now. I was struggling to take off the downpipe. Well, on the side, I'm tuning the car. It's Austin right here. This came all the way from t Tennessee. What's up? Gains. Gains of gains. Gains. Yep. All the way from Tennessee. OEM LOL. Maybe we have another gen scoop just showed up. But um as a canton, got the canton done on the side. Um Probably the last one here, making some power on the 2.0. And uh, I was just told that Ryan's coming here in like two hours or so. Aaron's already here. It, the motor and transmission is ready to come out. So we're just waiting for Ryan to get here so that we could just show him here and they could film something. Could be chows. I was, you know, forced a little bit into doing this, but I don't really care at the same time because Jay over there is meant Jay and Aaron are meant for taking good care of me, so um Alright, so Aaron's working on the uh, main harness now. And uh basically everything is ready to come out. But this car is nasty. This is 2015, so 
even if this was sold right off the lot, it's only been on the most maybe two years. Not even. Maybe two years, yes. And just to get to the harness, the amount of work Aaron has to do right here, just dumping stuff out. Speaking of some of the Jess scuba owners, man. You know who you are, the owner, previous owner? I know who you are. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody leaves all the information like, oh, he was slower. You can keep it. Want a keychain? <laughs> no. Bye bye. Just vacuum a little bit just to give Aaron a better work environment. <laughs> Not that we had the best environment here. Dino running over here. Metals being chopped. Welding in this air condition, but a little bit better with the vacuum interior here. And Aaron's carefully removing the interior. <laughs> All right, so here's the motor that's going into Orion's car. Honestly, nothing surprising here. I know a lot of people are saying 2JZ, LS, and all other motor v8 rb but you know sorry it didn't happen we specialize in these cars and orion wanted something original and yet we only have limited time so those who don't know the genesis coupe comes with either 3.8 or 2.0 and this particular motor is from the bk2 and it's a direct injection gdi model um supposed to make like three 346 at the crank uh, on our dyno usually makes about 270 so with the bolt-ons and custom tune we'll probably put the car around 310 ish at the wheels on our dyno orion made about 275 or 280 with 2.0 with the stock turbo so either way this one has a flatter torque so the torque is everywhere under the RPM and obviously bigger displacement. Only downside would be slightly heavier. Once again, we're a KDM specialist and this is something we've done in the past. I did my own car from 3.8 to 2.0. It's just a lot of labor. You gotta rip out everything pretty, pretty much and swap them out. And there are a little bit of complication here and there, you know, even little things like motor mounts are different. Um, all the harnesses under the dash is different. The whole interior harness is different. So it's more of work. So Aaron ripped out the whole front harness. So basically what Orion's car looked like on this car now. But the carpet and everything else remain in there. Aaron's already putting in the harness and I shall help. Oh yeah, see? Aaron already took off and I'm gonna probably just take off now. Just because of the timeline, you know, we have to turn over the car to O'Brien pretty much next week. He wasn't forcing us to do this, but we have other customers' cars coming in and also, we'd like to get this done early as possible so Orion could have more seat time. So just to recap what we did today is from yesterday, we pulled out the motor transmission, just had it sit here, and that's what you saw on Hagger Garage channel, and basically ripped out all the harnesses. We have three harnesses in the engine bay, and one is connected to the uh, interior, so you have to pull out the whole unit pretty much to get to some of the interior harnesses and you know we're not just cutting all the wires or anything uh, like what we did for Orion's car we're trying to make it clean as possible so we could reuse it and just plug it right back in a lot of people say we do we get the job done really quick and very impressive and we're not to be honest with you you really haven't seen us yet The motor and transmissions are already in the car, baby. So is all the harnesses. So, honestly, some people actually think this is the easy swap, but it's 
much more than complicated. Obviously, just it's more of a labor transferring stuff here and there, but there are a few th tricks here and there we learn over time, so we can get the job done quicker, but at at the same time the right way. So honestly, we're projecting to have this car started tomorrow. The weekend we spend time with our family, and uh, of course this is actually a long weekend, so. Um, the worst case, it will be Tuesday. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.